Hey guys and welcome back to another Daily Psalm series video today. It's really good to be back. I was off for a little while. I got a little sick, caught like a, a cold or a flu. And um, yeah, that was, that was last week for the most of the week. Um, the internet was also down and that's why I was not able to upload a Daily Psalm video. But nonetheless, we are back and ready to continue daily. So great to be back guys. Today we're reading psalm 107 and uh yeah let's go ahead and read so praise god for his word let's get into the reading oh give thanks to the lord for he is good for his mercy endures forever let the redeemed of the lord say so whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy and gathered out of the lands from the east and from the west from the north and from the south they wandered in the wilderness in a desolate way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and He delivered them out of their distresses. And He led them forth by the right way, that they might go into a city for a dwelling place. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for His goodness, and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfies the longing soul and fills the hungry soul with goodness. Those who sat in darkness and in the shadow of death, bound in affliction and irons, because they rebelled against the words of God and despised the counsel of the Most High. Therefore he brought down their heart with labor. They fell down and there was none to help. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and He saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death, and broke their chains in pieces. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for His goodness, and for His wonderful works to the children of men. For He has broken the gates of bronze, and cut the bars of iron in two. Fools, because of their transgression and because of their iniquities, were afflicted. Their soul abhorred all manner of food, and they drew near to the gates of death. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and He saved them out of their distresses. He sent His word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for His goodness, and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving, and declare his works with rejoicing. Those who go down to the sea in ships, who do business on great waters, they see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. For he commands and raises the stormy wind, which lifts up the waves of the sea, they mount up to the heavens, they go down again to the depths. Their soul melts because of trouble. They reel to and fro and stagger like a drunken man and are at their wit's end. Then they cry out to the Lord in their trouble and He brings them out of their distresses. He calms the storm so that its waves are still. Then they are glad because they are quiet. So he guides them to their desired haven. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them exalt him also in the assembly of the people and praise him in the company of the elders. He turns rivers into a wilderness and the water springs into dry ground, a fruitful land into barrenness, for the wickedness of those who dwell in it. He turns a wilderness into pools of water and dry land into water springs. There he makes the hungry dwell, that they may establish a city for a dwelling place, and sow fields and plant vineyards, that they may yield a fruitful harvest. He also blesses them, and they multiply greatly. And he does not let their cattle decrease, when they are diminished and brought low through oppression, affliction and sorrow, he pours contempt on princes and causes them to wander in the wilderness where there is no way. 
yet he sets the poor on high, far from affliction, and makes their families like a flock. The righteous see it and rejoice, and all iniquity stops its mouth. Whoever is wise will observe these things, and they will understand the loving kindness of the Lord. And that is a great way to end this psalm today. You know, really identifying the loving kindness of the God that we serve, the mighty powerful God of the universe. So there's really so many things to thank God for. And this is really what the psalm is all about, to thank God for his goodness in our lives. But also what really stands out to me in the psalm today is the fact that no matter what we have done, no matter how foolish we have been in our actions, no matter what mistakes we have made that have gotten us into trouble, God will come through and help us in our distresses, no matter what situation we're in, no matter how badly we messed up, we can be saved and we can be restored because of God's loving kindness. So always thank God for His loving kindness. Thank God for His goodness. And know that if you would just call on Him, He will meet you where you're at in your time of need, in your time of trouble. And God will restore you. God will give you everything that you need. All we got to do is trust God and give Him everything. Open up our hearts to Him and fully surrender to Him. Praise God, guys. Well, let's close in prayer today before the end of the video. Heavenly Father God, we come before you right now in Jesus' name. We just want to take this time, Father, to thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your goodness, Father, in our lives. Thank you for coming through for us, Lord. Even if there was no way, even when there had been no way, but nothing is impossible for you, Lord. So thank you for coming through for us. And I just pray right now for the person watching this video, Lord, if they're going through any trouble in their lives, any times of distressing and any times of need, I just pray that you meet them in their needs right now, Father God. I pray for a touch upon their lives, that you would grant them peace in this time and give them what they need, Lord, according to your perfect ways, in your perfect timing, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I just pray for a touch right now on those who are watching this video today, that you just heal their hearts from all the discouragement and that you would bring up a new hope to rise up within their hearts and a new faith to rise up within their hearts today. And I pray a blessing over them, Lord. Bless them and provide for them. And I give you, Father, all the glory and all the praise and all the honor. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Thanks for watching today, guys. I will see you again tomorrow for Psalm 108. Be sure to join for that. Nonetheless, I'm going to head out for now. But God bless and may the peace of Jesus be with you in His mighty name. Amen.